Hello and welcome back to the second week of Beach Week in Star Stable. Yep, that's right. The beach party is going on. We're gonna head on over there in just a second, but I just wanted to point out, I was riding past Yidris' circus and look at the tent. Oh, look at that. Okay, it's looking more mysterious than usual. Yes, I'm sure this is probably a visual texture that is not loading, but either way, it still looks mysterious. It still looks dark. It still makes me wonder what is going on and what is Yidris up to today? Let's run over to the beach party and find out if he's maybe hanging out over there. And as we are racing over to the beach party, how about a little recap of week one, just in case you haven't had a chance to play it yourself, or in case you have no idea that there was a beach party going on. Mayor Peanut had formally invited Star Stable players to come on down to the beach party. This is where we met up with Mel and Talia, who are hosting the beach party. Tim is now selling smoothies at the beach hut, but he has a shark named Bruce that you have to feed every single day. Yep, you can see him way out there waiting to be fed. I feed him every day so he doesn't get peckish. Otherwise, he'll try to steal the beach goer's ice creams. Then he'll move on to something more hearty, like sandals. And then, well, you don't want to know what he'll eat next. Let's just say I had to pick out horse hair from his teeth last time he went hungry. Okay, so we definitely cannot forget to feed Bruce. And everything at the beach festival, you're trying to earn summer tokens. So you can exchange them for items in the beach shop. They have some items from last year and they added in a brand new set. Store stable, please. We need more storage space in our wardrobes. And you can buy lanterns from the lantern stall. And last week we got a free blue polo shirt also for completion completing all of the beach quests and to just basically get the party started. But it's been really nice because Star Stable has actually been giving out lanterns every time that you do some of the races and the dailies. So you can actually just earn them in game. They added in a new race, which I'm obsessed with. Oh, maybe we should go do the race then right now because I love the new race. And then they revamped the other one. Oh, wait a minute, Mel has something to say. Hey Mel, what's going on? I'm just getting everybody caught up on beach week number one. Wonderful, have you seen the new horse? Oh yeah, look over here. Okay, Star Stable is giving a little sneak peek. Looks like the new Shire is kind of falling asleep and swaying to the music a little bit right here. So new Shire is coming next week. All right, so here we are finally, week number two. Well, we have so much more activities here at the beach festival for week number two. How do you feel about metal detecting? Go talk to James. Don't forget to get nice and cozy by the bonfire. There's James. Ooh, by the ice cream. Use the metal detector to find buried treasure in the sand and return the item to the owner who lost it. Is that it? Look at the metal detector on my horse's butt. This is so cute. Okay, how do I know where to look? Oh, wait, it's saying go this way. Wait, this way. Okay, I'm going the right way. Okay, this way. Okay, it's turning green. It's like warmer, colder, warmer. Wait, this way. Oh wait, is this, that's it right here. <laughs> Okay, let's dig this up. You found something. It's an old bracelet covered in sand. It says something on it. Holdsworth. Is Mrs. Holdsworth here? Or do I need to go get this and deliver it to her? Uh, Mrs. Holdsworth, uh, here's your bracelet that you must have lost years ago. It was found at the beach party. Oh, thank you. I did lose this decades ago during the summer of 68. Imagine what other treasures might be hidden in the sands of time. All right, let's detect again. Let's see, what else can we find? It's saying going this way. Am I going the wrong way? Maybe this way? Oh, oh, uh, there it is. What do we have here? What is that? GEMO console. The device is covered in sparkly stickers, though it's completely waterlogged and unusable. Maybe James will have some use for it. Remember, James is difficult enough. Of course he knows that there's treasure in the sand. Hey, Isabel, this might belong to you. Oh, why does she look so sad? I really wish I could talk, but I'm so busy hosting this race and stuff, you know. Oh, wait, someone's just come by to try the race. I have to help them now, bye. Hey, do you notice anything out of the ordinary lately? Like maybe items not having a visual texture? I got something else. The lady with the cats has taken three loops around the three loops around the three loops around the fort this morning with her kittens. Nothing goes undetected on my watch. Also, there was a heavy package addressed to James the other day. It was marked fragile and it left a ton of glitter on my hands. That's all I know. Yep, that's right. James got a shipment, asked me to help carry it down to the beach. It weighed a ton. Maybe there was a horse inside. I mean, it was supposedly fragile. I helped him carry it all the way down in the pitch black darkness. Check it out, it should be down by the docks. There it is, the magical package. It contains plastic panes, 
tubs of glitter, and tiny mirrors? What is he doing with all that? What does it have to do with the beach festival? What did you use the plastic panes for? Well, James ordered some giant plastic panes for us to place just underwater. And he scattered glitter and glued tiny mirrors to them to create the sparkly walking on water effect. I don't know, we just wanted to jazz up the festival. Hey, look, the bonfire party is starting pretty soon. Look, people are gathering, bonfire time. Let's head to the bonfire now. Okay, but I still need to know who to give this console to since James didn't need it. Oh, look at how nice this is. Hey, Linda. Hey, guys, you made it. All the way from over there. We're here. What do you want to throw into the bonfire? How about glitter? You can put in a Yule goat. And now we enjoy the bonfire party. Huh? <gasps> and here he is. We have to speak to him. Who are you talking about, me or Mayor Peanut? Uh, cause uh, Mayor Peanut can't talk right now. All is not as it seems. You get a yellow saddle pad, pastel yellow saddle pad. Yes, and some summer tokens. Ah! Yidris is here. I knew he would appear at the beach. He cannot resist a party, can he? The little fleas dance around the fire like moss to flame. What a delightful little party you're all having. Though far too mundane for my taste. Time to jazz it up. Wait, what does, what does he mean? He's gonna add more magic? Farewell. This has been a nice little affair, but as you like to say, there is much to do and not enough time in the day. Ah, and just like that, the curtains fall on the grave ring master. Yidris is gone in a puff of smoke. He's speaking in riddles like a true magician. We have to decipher what he said. The day you take Yidris' word for anything is the day you make a big mistake. Just ignore him. Listen to me or Mayor Peanut. Mayor Peanut knows everything. Huh, good point. Maybe he was just trying to steal the spotlight. Fine, you guys. Let's enjoy the rest of the beach fest. Oh, and just like that, they're gone, but I got a saddle pad. Uh, Mr. Kimball, does this uh, gaming device belong to you? <laughs> Ah, okay, I guess not. It says it has sparkly stickers on it. I wonder if that's Madison, maybe? Would they make you go all the- Whoa, what's going on here? <gasps> Look at another darkened object. There's another one up here. What is going on? The magic of Yidris. Look! Look over here. Okay, a lot of things are shaded out. My game did crash. And I uh, logged back in, and now it's uh, like this. Okay, fun. Very interesting. Look it! Look at the cute cat. Feed me. Meow. Hello, have you met our newest aspiring fisher yet? Oh, how cute. The stray cat is hanging out by the bridge in hopes of eating some fish. Is that the cat that we saw in Fur Grove earlier? Like, I don't know, a couple quests ago? I had a vet check her out. Other than being a bit on the thin side, she's healthy. Say, would you be interested in taking her in as a pet? I'm sure you'd provide her with a loving home. Sure, absolutely. You need to feed this cat for five days. We want a big fish for the cat. Big fish is worth three points. You need to get 10 points. We've released all the fish except for the biggest one. Go. Wait, what? Catch five fish daily and give her the biggest one. We're counting on you, both me and the cat. Okay. Hungry Cat wants some fish. Okay, so if you complete this task for five days, you get to adopt the stray cat. Okay, time to do some fishing. Should be easy enough. Oh. Okay, I got a medium fish. Oh, I got a large one. I got a large one. Another medium. What is that one? Small? Good job. Feed the cat. Okay, hopefully he keeps track of all the fish that we feed the cat. Because it doesn't look like there's like a tracker or anything around here. So hopefully he knows. All right, let's take the ferry over to Madison on South Hoof and see if this is possibly her gaming device. And while we're waiting for the ferry, let's check out the new saddle pad. Oh, it's really pretty. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a recolor of the green one. Madison. Oh, she must be with night dust. There she is. Oh, it is Madison. Madison, did you lose this in the sand? Hey, you're a YouTuber. Yep, I am. Yeah, I lost that while fending off pirates at the beach. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's go check out the newest race that they added. I'm obsessed with it. All right, here we go. Starting this race where you actually get to race on water. I think this is one of their best races. I wish this was permanent in the game because this one is a really, really amazing one. Oh no, you can't see some of the items. Oh, but there's a the shark. He's probably hungry too. I haven't fed him yet. Oh. Love these cute little jumps that actually look like you're jumping over the ocean. Like they've got like little waves. Pretty cute. Look out, don't hit the boat. Or this one. Absolutely best race. One of the best races in Star Stable. Oh, there he is again. Yeah, he looks hungry. Okay, don't eat me or my horse. Bruce. Bruce, okay. Oh, all right. Absolutely. Love that race. Now I have plenty of summer tokens. Thank you so much, Star Stable, for letting us collect them so quickly and so easily. So let's do some exchanging. 
And inside of the beach shop, you can see the new item and then some of the items from last year, the Montana Mountaineer set. Whether you're hiking, fishing, or hitting the trails, this practical set is fit for all sorts of outdoor adventures. And they have this really cute watermelon looking sky lantern. Here we go, here's the perfect place to set it off. And there it goes. Oh, we should have made it a little bit more moody in here. Go to settings, time of day, make it night. There we go. Now you can really see the lantern. Thank you so much for riding along with me. Come join me for more Star Stable adventures. You do not want to miss it. If you're horse crazy, then definitely subscribe and join us. And I will see you in my next video. Wait a minute, you can't leave just yet. There's something we forgot to do. Feed Bruce. Okay, I feel like I need my fisherman gear on. There he is. He's ready to eat. All right, let's get a closer look. Bruce, don't hurt me, okay? Don't bite my arm off or anything. No, oh, I fell into the shark. All right, let's feed him. Be nice, Bruce. Here we go, feeding. Ah, oh, okay, there he goes. He's happy. All right, now I'll see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.